Hey everybody, my name is Rocky, and this is gonna be a quick unboxing of the Google Pixel 6a, which is a $450 budget lineup. It's gonna be a very quick video, so let's get right into it. Gonna do a super quick unboxing. So here's a box that it was actually shipped in. I'm gonna be able to open it up. That was pretty cool. Um, see if you guys can see that, but basically, on register. It's got a cool little uh, information that Google basically sent us and it's basically saying that, um, you know, they want you to recycle any of your old electronics. Um, you can use this box to do so. So, you know, it's cool that Google's always pushing going green. So that's cool. Okay, other than that, let's open this up. So over here, this is the box right here that we get. I'm not sure if this is confirmed, but you know, we have multiple colors. Um, at least this box does match the phone color that we choose. And in our case, since I got the Sage one, we get the Sage color box. I'm wondering if you have, I think the other two colors are chalk, which is kind of like a silvery color. And then we also have a, um, they're calling it charcoal, which is basically the black version. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see if they actually matched this picture with it. So it'd be cool. Now, if I go right into opening it, we have this little tab right here that I'm gonna try opening. Okay, do one of these and get another little tab right here to open. Gonna just peel that out, throw that here. Okay, and now we are going to directly go into um, opening it. Okay. Put that there for a while. So right off the bat, you know, you're greeted with the, the smartphone by itself. And it's cool because I have this little indent over here. Don't want to try to cover it up. So I kind of zoom in just a little bit more. Yeah. So given just a little, this little indent right here. So open this up. It's cool because it allows you, it helps you actually open up the smartphone, like help lift it up. Um, cool thing is, that we're, we're given this little, you know, cardboard paper that kind of explains, um, sorry, let me get into a shot. Yeah, we, let's see if you guys can kind of see that right there. Okay, yeah, so it's cool because it shows us that we have a fingerprint sensor right here. Not sure if the camera can pick it up, but we also have a USB-C it says. Uh, over here kind of shows a little icon to show that it's a SIM tray your volume down, your volume up, and then the power. So it's kind of cool that they kind of put that. Let me see if I can try to get that in the shot for you guys to have a quick little look at that. Uh, what's cool, right off the bat, you know, if you haven't looked at reviews or anything about the smartphone, it's cool that, um, that this is here as a cool little outline to where all the buttons are. So that's cool. All right, so let's see if I can just open this up like, and then you can see in the very back um, it's like that really cool sage color um, so usually myself uh, I usually like just silver or black or gray but this sage color it's pretty cool um, it's not the color that I would choose because you know I'm you know, I'm kind of basic but it's a cool little color if you want to kind of stand out from the crowd instead of having you know, everybody who use, who's, everybody who's used to their black and white smartphones, if you want to be a little flashy, uh, want to show off, you know, show off what you got. It's actually, but the, the material is kind of nice. You know, it's like this really, it's kind of like a glassy or glossy feel. Very, very reflective. But yeah, it feels nice. The sides are aluminum, uh, but it doesn't really feel slippery. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel too slippery. But again, I have to see once I actually start using this as a daily driver for a bit to see how slippery it is. But at least the back, maybe because my hands are a little sweaty, kind of gross, but oh well. Um, yeah, I mean, it seems like it can have like a lot of cool grip. Uh, if you look at the back, you know, you have that little visor that the Google Pixel has been kind of rocking for, you know, a while. I think it was since like the Google Pixel Nexus 6P or something that they started having this little visor. But yeah, it looks cool though. I like it. It seems like... Mm, there's a little bit of a lip to it right here um because i know because i can't slide my finger all the way up because i'm kind of blocked by it but it's not as pronounced as i thought it would be 
Um, so that's kind of cool. You do have your two cameras right here. Um, so you have your you have your two 12 megapixel cameras. You have one of your primary one, and then you probably have your ultra wide camera right here. And you have your flash. Cool, cool. Moving on to this side. Now if we move on to this side over here, we're given the nice 6.1 inch display uh, screen. And I believe this is a 1080p by 2400 um, P resolution, which is, I mean, for a $450 smartphone, like that's awesome that you get a resolution of that onto this. That's pretty cool. And it is OLED displays. So that's cool. The only thing is that it isn't only 60 Hertz. It's not the whole 120 Hertz, but come on, you're paying $450 for this thing and you're still getting, you know, a 1080p by 2400 with 429 pixels per inch and it's OLED display. Like, yeah, it's, you're gonna have you're gonna have to you know not have the 120 hertz. That would be insane if Google put 120 hertz on this. That'd be crazy. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. Um, probably yeah. I don't think it'll be able to pick it up. Well, maybe a little bit, but at the very top, it looks like there's like a little bit of a speaker right here. Um, definitely gonna have to do my research on that but yeah i mean it looks cool if this is if this is truly a little speaker up here that's awesome you know better uh you know media consumption so yeah so that's you know the smartphone um i'm definitely have to do my review on it it's just super quick unboxing and we're given can i take this off yep, i can take this thing off yep you're given now a usb type c to usb type c connector uh, just a heads up, you don't have a wall adapter that comes in the box. So there's no wall adapter. You're going to have to buy your own. So I think it's the whole initiative to go green. I know Apple kind of introduced it. So a lot of other companies are following suit. So if you already have a wall adapter, you know, that won't be an issue for you. So let's put this guy over here. Um, you got this connector. Um, it's a it's that USB type C that connects directly to your phone with the USB right here. So if you want to connect to, you know, any other device to transfer your material, you guys are able to do that. So that's cool. Let's see. It's cool if you look at this box right here, let's see if the camera can focus, focus, focus. Yeah, if you can see it, uh, it's cool because it says, you know, Pixel 6a, but then it also has Google Tensor, which I believe to be the Google Tensor chip itself. So yeah, that's pretty awesome there. It seems like they're heavily trying to market that, that this $450 smartphone has the Google Tensor chip. So, I mean, I would be advertising that as well with a $450 smartphone. If you have, you know, the flagship Google Pixel 6 Pro or the Pixel 6 Pro with their Tensor chip to bring that that high-end smartphone device processor to a $450. I know I say that $450 a lot, but that's great because you know that the performance of this is just going to completely fly. That's if and only if the uh, software on the Pixel is you know optimized. Because I know with the 6 and the 6 Pro, I know a lot of people are actually a little concerned because the software was for some reason buggy, which is kind of a shocker because, you know, yeah, Pixel uses that pure, like non-bloated, you know, um, flavor of Android, if you say, if you would say. So hopefully um, when I do my review, I can see how optimized it is. But yep, that's just a super quick review of it. Let me see if I can, let me just turn it on. Let's see what we are greeted with our welcoming message. We're greeted with this, welcome to your Pixel. So that's cool. It's a little cool little animation that we got going on. It's funny because when this thing, when this thing bounces, the vibration motor, like right there, you can feel the actual vibration motor on this. That's actually cool. I really like this a little subtle touch to it, but it's cool. Um, then you go to the get started and then of course connect to, you know, put your SIM card in and you're just kind of greeted with the basics of all that. Um, one thing is, I don't know if we have, oh, here it is <laughs> before I forget. We do have that SIM ejector. Um, let me see if I can pull this guy out. So that's cool that you brought it. Comes with that. Um, well, actually the documentation that you get into here. I don't wanna 
forget anything if you guys are curious. If you get any stickers or anything, uh, we're given this really just says Google and we're here to help. And this is just setup guides. That's cool. And basically just a really quick little manual that you, manual and safety instructions. Uh, if you guys wanted stickers, sorry, <laughs> it's not gonna be there. So yeah, again, this was just a super quick look at the $450 Google Pixel 6a. Honestly, I think this is gonna be probably gonna blow a lot of people's mind just because that they brought over that Tensor chip, just because the display is great. I can guarantee, you know, I have a feeling that the camera quality is gonna be fantastic as well. So yeah. So thanks for checking out my, uh, um, my quick little unboxing of the Pixel 6a. Uh, about maybe a week, week and a half, I will be producing the full review on how I feel about the smartphone. If there's any issues with the software optimization and everything runs smooth, I'll let you guys know. Thanks, thanks for checking in.